Hi guys, Harrison here. Got uh, a few folding solar panels here to talk to you about. Um, all, my, all come from the same company, made of high quality monocrystalline panels. Uh, we got a 7 watt folding solar panel, 15 watts folding and 21 watt folding. So I'll open them up, open them all up, just give you a look at them. So they're Velcro. And they just uh, fold out. So we see sevens. Seven's got two panels. Fifteen's got two panels as well, just a little bit bigger. And the twenty-one watt has got three panels and bigger again. Um, why would you go with one or the other? Um, seven watt. It's got one USB output, which uh, will charge your phone. Um, we've got it accompanied here with a little power bank from Claris, uh, nice little power bank. But uh, yeah, you probably use this on a day, um, top up your phone in your pack, um, yeah, just to make sure you're going to get through that day of, um, as we all do, and you know, half of us don't take cameras these days, we just use our phone for everything. So um, you just want to make sure that you've got enough power, um, you don't want to be relying on a power bank that uh, might be out of power. This one's, as long as the sun's out, you're going to be producing power. Um, so that's what that, that looks like. Super compact and small. Um, yeah, really, really nice. That's coming in at about 320 grams. Um, so yeah, it is light. It's got a few little straps here. You can hang it, hang it off a tree, um, hang it off the back of your bag. And it also, also has a pocket here, like they all do. So you can put your phone in there. Uh, but what I like to do, I like to hang this off my bag, have that hanging out with my cord, actually connected to my phone in my bag, so there's no chance of it um, coming out. And yeah, then if it rains or whatever, these are all waterproof as well. So if it rains, um, you're not going to be worried about your phone getting wet. Uh, so that's 7 watt. Um, really, really good option, yeah. Like I said, if you're just on that day, day trek somewhere, you want to be super light and compact. Um, that's that's definitely the way to go. Stepping it up a little bit, 15 watt comes with two USB outputs, um, and I've got it just here with a little uh, uh, 1200 milliamp Neji Fu power bank. Great little thing. Um, again, I mean, 15 watt is going to get you out of a lot of trouble. Uh, instead of the toggles, it's actually got a uh, Little holes here, they are nice and reinforced. Um, just put a little caravan around there, a little bit of rope. I mean, you're gonna hang this from a tree. Again, out the back of your backpack. Have your cord for your power bank and your phone charging at the same time. So throughout the day, charge them both up. Keep using your phone as much as you like. Sun goes down, you can rely on that power bank to get you through the night. Um, yeah, so this one's 15 watt. Um, and then move on to the, the, oh sorry, that 15 watt is coming in around 400 grams. Um, so again, I mean, all of these are light enough to carry around all day without weighing you down too much. Um, going on to the fifth, uh, 21 watt, as you can see, quite a lot bigger. So you get those three panels. Um, that's also got your two, two outputs, running a little bit higher amperage than these ones just because of that extra panel. Um, all, these got, all these ones are just gonna output roughly around the same, um, but the higher the wattage, the more, like, uh, the more it's gonna capture the sun, I suppose. It's the best way to explain it. Um, so on a duller day, um, the more surface area you got, the more it's gonna pick up on those tiny little rays. So yeah, that's why you'd probably go a bigger one if you were wanting to get through um, a longer extended stay, um, fully off grid. Uh, whereas, yeah, this one would be more a day, day thing, 15, 21 watt. I mean, yeah, you're gonna get a lot of uh, use out of that if you're out of um, power for an extended period of time. Again, I mean, that's not gonna be too big to hang off your pack. Got it here with a 24,000 uh, big power bank. That'll charge that up. Um, yeah, probably around that six, six, eight hour mark. So you're gonna, you're gonna need a probably a fair bit of sun to charge these up, but I mean, if you've got this on your back and you're doing a six, eight hour hike, um, yeah, you're gonna have no drama charging that up.
including your phone as well. So um, these are yeah, three great options if you want to go off the grid for uh, an extended period of time. Um, all, both, all three of them have got nice little connection points so you can hang them off that tree, your bag, and not worry about them falling off. Um, yeah, and a generic USB, so yeah, you can plug in any one of your phones, your GoPros, uh, cameras, yeah, literally anything that runs off a USB, you're gonna be able to charge directly off one of these. Uh, but we do like to, um, if you kinda wanna go that full off-grid uh, option, Definitely incorporate one of these power banks. It's the best option to um, make sure you're gonna get through the night. Uh, you can charge everything up during the day and then yeah, go absolutely bananas at night and not worry about running out of power. So yeah, that's just a couple folding solar panels.